Hello everybody, GF Josh here. Today I'd like to show you a really cool combat macro that I've been using for Roll20, specifically in Star Trek Adventures, to put together all the combat dice rolls and fancy things. Now this is based on the incredible work of ELH and others, and I've just added my own touch to it. What this does is it pulls stats from the NPC ship character sheets, and also gives you a prompt for adding threat to increase the, the number of crew dice rolls, but I'll just show it in action and then I'll walk you through how I have all this set up. So in this scene, we have the poor USS Defiant facing off against two D7s. So I'm gonna click on this D7. I renamed it to D7 Beta. And uh, see, that's actually where I set the name, but it still represents the single character sheet. Don't worry about that. We'll get the specifics in a second. But I've selected uh, the D7 here and the top I have set as an ability this combat macro, when I click it, it's gonna ask me if I wanna add any extra crew dice. Sure, let's add two more. That would normally cost me two thread each, so I'll have to keep track of that. Hit submit. And we get lots of really cool stuff here on the side. So what's happened is our normal crew roll, which is based off of the stats of the ship. The target number is 12, I rolled a four, and then I rolled a nine, so that's two successes. My extra crew dice that I rolled, I asked for two more dice, so it rolled those also. Again, the target number is 12 in this case, based on the ability of the crew here on the NPC ship. You rolled a 15 and a two, so a two is a critical success, so I get two of those. So I'd have a total of four successes from the crew rolls. Uh, looking down on the, the next section, and it did a roll based on the ability of the ship itself, which was also a target number of 12, coincidentally. It rolled an 18, so that's a miss. And it rolled the damage for all possible weapon systems for ships. So what I've done here is I'm not specified like for a D7, it would have a disruptor cannon. I've not specified that. I've just based the damage uh, off of what a cannon and then a bank and a rain of torpedo would be. And then we just kind of have to remember, you know, if it's a disruptor or a Polaroid weapon or et cetera. And then also uh, it's got uh, the abilities pulling again from the NPC ship character sheet. And that's based on the stats of the ship. And you can see how well or terrible I did there. So let's open this character sheet that all this is pulling from and all this is based on and get an idea of how this looks. Now this is using the old character sheet for Star Trek Adventures. If you use the official one, it looks a little different. And if you use the official one, you don't really have to do much. Just make sure that you've selected NPC as the type of sheet. Uh, so yeah, just, uh, you know, these are normal ship stats for a D7. I pulled these from the core rule book. And what the macro does is it pulls for each ability that you're using the correct stats. So like, for example, evasive action, uh, it's pulling the ship structure plus ship's con, and then also knowing that the ship con is the target number it looks for for, for a critical role. If you're not using the official character sheet, what you will need to do in order to get this to work is add here on the list of attributes. Make sure that you add, I added attribute and discipline. Uh, this reflects the NPC attribute discipline, which you can find in the core rule book. They don't have the full, uh, NPC ships don't have all the attributes and disciplines that a normal ship has. They just have a single score that they use in place of all of them. So uh, I think for the D7, the core rule book, it said they have a nine attribute and a three discipline score, but just make sure you set this in the abilities. This is what the macro pulls from. It's very important. So the good stuff here happens uh, in the ability section. I created a new macro and I will paste in the entire contents of this macro in the description of the video because this is just too much to uh, even try to get you to read or reproduce. But here's where all the magic and what it's doing, like I said, is it's pulling the, the attribute and discipline scores that we just talked about in the attribute column also the ship stats in order to make this happen. And there's also the code to uh, you know, give you the prompt if you wanna roll more dice. So that's that's really fun. Uh, but how this is set up too is I'll set up a single character sheet for each for each class of ships. Like I've got D7, I've got D4 and all that. And then what I'll do is if I wanna have, like in this case, I have two different D7s. What I'll do is drag on this one ship onto the map twice. And then I'll go into the token. I'll keep represents character here the same, you know, the class is D7, but then I'll change the name and this helps me just keep track of, you know, which is which. And the cool thing too is that the macro is pulling from that name. So let me go back and show you how that looks. And you see the title is D7 beta and here I'm gonna roll for alpha. Boom, and then you see uh, the alpha stat. Well, thanks everyone for watching. Hopefully this video has been useful and the combat macro is something you might be able to use in your next Roll20 campaign. Special shoutouts again to ELH, the Star Trek Adventures subreddit, and of course the great folks at Continuing Mission. And until next time, live long and prosper. GM Josh out.